This is our 85 Mercedes 280SL. Uh, it's a European market car. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car, and then there will be uh, shots of all of the blemishes close up in direct sunlight. Then there will be some interior clips and some running clips. So this car has a very interesting history to it. Uh, being an 85, it's the final year of the R107 for this chassis. Um, and it was imported by Cox Imports in 85 and then brought to Tennessee, uh, where a few years later, presumably from a mechanical issue, uh, it was parked in a backyard barn and it sat there for quite a few years. Uh, the gentleman in Tennessee that took it out of storage actually took some photos, which we will send with the car, of it all dusty sitting there in this barn. Um, even his local newspaper actually put out an article when the car was found about how cool of a thing it was and you know how, well, how good of a car these are. Um, so it is actually original paint with the exception of the hood and the trunk lid, um, which is pretty impressive. I mean, we put an alcometer on it and there is readings of 3.7 to 3.9 all around, whereas the hood and the trunk lid are more between five and a half and eight, uh, consistent with one respray. But the, the car is in phenomenal condition. Um, like I said, the original paint presents very well, but the body has really no dents or any significant dings. There's one super, super light ding on the trunk lid, which you'll see a little close up of later. Uh, the chrome European bumpers are in phenomenal condition. I mean, really no oxidation or anything of the sort. There's no fade in the paint. I mean, really not much of any blemishes. You'll see the couple little chips close up a little later. So as the car sat for quite a while um, before we got to it, we had to do a pretty thorough servicing. Uh, we went through the fuel system in its entirety. I mean, you know, fuel pressure regulator, we had the, we had the, the tank sent out and cleaned, placed the pump, the filter, lines, um, quite a bit. Uh, then we also did the distributor cap and rotor. We put tires on it. I uh, changed all the fluids um, and went through some of the electronics, you know, get the windows working and stuff like that. So the car will come with uh, a pretty major service receipt um, from this year, as well as that uh, newspaper article, photos of the car when it was found, uh, as well as the original build sheet, which we found sitting underneath the driver's seat, uh, still intact, which is very cool to see. So you can see the steel wheels and chrome hubs are in excellent shape, the tires are brand new, the lights are clear and crack free. Here are the blemishes, there's a little chip there right along that forward hood crease. Another little nick there in the uh, passenger front fender. The hood and trunk lid colors blend perfectly with the rest of the car. It's impossible to tell. You see that little, little scratch there, but then the rocker is just very, very nice. We always see these cars rusty down there, and this one is just spotless. Another extremely minor, but worth noting, you know, a little chip in the original paint there. Super light little ding on the trunk lid. Uh, you can't really see it, but it is there. Another chip there, right next to the tailpipe. Little crease right there. There's a couple tiny chips in it. You know, just the where the door jam is. And the other side, again, a nice clean black rocker. The car is in really, really impressive shape. Is the interior. As you can see, there is one partial crack dead center around the defrost vent, um, but the interior other than that does not really show much for aging. It's not any cracks, no hairline cracks in the wood. Uh, the speedometer is stuck at 59,000 and change. Uh, very, very likely accurate. Um, probably just stopped working because the car was stationary for so long but the condition of it is consistent with that. You can see the sills are just immaculate. We always see bubbling and rust, little stuff there in the creases and the corners, but this one is just bone dry. The original seats were re-dyed the correct color. 
since they were starting to discolor and fade a little bit due to age, and they now present extremely well. You can see that tiny, tiny little dot in the middle is really the only damage to the seats. It's a super small little puncture. Door panels are nice, with, you know, no major kicked open markings or anything like that. Again, a nice clean sill. You can see that all the chrome is very nice, no oxidation. Obviously no overspray or anything like that. Carpet is a tiny, tiny bit discolored, but very nice overall.